the right-hander, Matt Shoemaker. He's been pretty good looking to start a little bit of a consistent hot streak here. I, I've enjoyed watching him pitch. He knows how to pitch, see what he can do against the Pirates here today. The Adam Frazier looks for his first hit of the series. And there's a line drive base hit. Adam Frazier singles to right to start this ball game. Brownie, it, it never ceases to amaze me how quick he gets to the baseball. I mean, the barrel control he has and his ability just to just drop the hands on top of that pitch that's upstairs. Another guy looking for his first hit of the series and in fact hitless in his last 11 at bats is Philip Evans. And towards center field, and here we go, first and second. So the first two guys who were hitless in the series deliver to start this ball game. Evans to center field, moves Frazier to second base. Brownie, we call that a diamond cut because it splits the diamond in half. Look at that right there. Equal sides on both. Shoemaker in early trouble, and here's Brian Reynolds. And the other way toward left, dropping, and that's fair, and the Pirates take the early lead. As Reynolds pulls into second with a double, it's one nothing. Brownie, you got to see Mitch Garver's reaction on this swing. His head goes down almost immediately as soon as Reynolds makes contact because he sees it's right in that Bermuda Triangle, right outside of the third baseman's opportunity to catch it, outside of the left fielder. He dropped his head down, was so disappointed. That's that area that's just unguardable. As you see, Evans at third, Reynolds at second, no one out. Three and two, the count on Colin Moran. And this is lifted to center, and the runner at third, Evans, will tag. Buxton will concede that run and hold the runner at second. So sacrifice fly for Moran, 2 nothing Pirates. Yeah, and that had to feel good for the Redbeard to, you know, put a ball in play with a little bit of a charge into it, deep enough to score that run from third. Now Gonzalez, half swing, I think he went. Yep. Two away. A couple of veterans battling each other here with Shoemaker hoping this will be the last pitch of the inning. Bouncer to short. Polanco sets. And over to Hostadio to end the inning. But the Pirates scored two runs on three hits. They strand one. We've played one half at Target Field. Will Crow added to the roster today. He'll make his first start as a Pirate. All right, shaking out his left hand after that last swing. White uniform, white batting gloves. There it is. That's a fair ball toward the corner. Playing him that way is Philip Evans and uh, Arise, who sent a couple of fouls down the left field line, put one in fair territory for a leadoff single. Good to see that. That's classic Luis Arise right there. And I think his eyes got a little big after he hit that home run, frankly. He, what was for him a long home run to right field earlier in the season. Here's Donaldson. So far, Arise has started the Twins half with a single. Slice to right, a base hit, and a rise around second will go to third. Well, the Twins doing what the Pirates did with a couple of early hits in their half of the first inning. I got to tell you, that's a professional job of hitting right there, and I hope all his teammates see it. Watch where this ball is. It's down and in. He's going to wait a long time. He knows that Will Crow throws a lot of sliders. We know that statistically so far. He's got two strikes. He's just going to wait and identify the pitch. If he gets beat on the fastball, he does. But he's able to muscle that ball to right field. That's a great two strike at bat. Here's Cruz, one for seven in the series. Oh, there we go. Strikes him out, one down. Think Will he, Crow. I think he said, I'll take your ground ball and I'll raise you to yeah, this right. K right yep. here. Change up that, you know, it looked like Cruz saw it, but he saw it too late. Good pitch. So now Buxton, average power on base percentage, all high. Driven to left, Buxton comes through. And that's what happens. A rise scoring and Donaldson to second base, a bullet to left, and it's two to one. Can't overemphasize what it means to hit two and oh instead of oh and two. And Byron just for so many years got himself in tough counts early, but you will not get him out low in the strike zone when he's ahead in the count. You just you just won't do it. Kirloff, Pittsburgh native. Oh, stabbed. Look what I found. Will Crow will take it that way. A line drive double play out. And that helps out Will Crow in his first inning and his first start as a Pirate. Through one inning. Facing a guy where you kind of want to live in that area. Couldn't get there. Popped up and in play. Yes. Colin Moran for a second out. Yeah, that's a big out right there. Some really good sliders. Turtle the pops out. Yeah, there you go. Against, right. against the Crow. Whoa, I see what you did there. Crow's first start with the Pirates. Again, acquired over the winter. And a great stop by Gonzalez and a throw to first to get Donaldson one heck of a play by Egon. Wow, what a great play. I mean, 
we've we've talked about it time and time again, Brownie. His defense is just, you know, it's a plus at so many different positions. I mean, this play right here, Donaldson hits that slider out in front. I mean, Gonzo just wow. full length. What a play. I mean, that ball almost turned him completely backwards, pointing towards the outfield. Great play by Gonzo. Gets up in a hurry. He knows his runner, understanding who is actually at the plate, so you don't rush through that and make a bad throw. Looking at a block or the left-handed batter. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Swinging a crack bat, liner in the center. That'll drop in for a base hit. Polanco aboard with a two-out single to center. That's a good a job hit. right yeah. there. Good stay through by Polanco on that splitty down low. Strike one to Polanco. Yeah, that's hit hard past the second baseman. Arias out in shallow right. Second straight hit for Polanco. Yeah, he, he snap hooked that ball right in the hole, right through the shift. Hits it foul and then keeps it fair that second time through. I mean, that just shows how hard he hits it. We saw that last year a lot. Stashak sets. Stallings waits. The pitch. Swinging a fly ball out to left. Kirilov turning around, and it's off the wall. Played by Buxton, the center fielder backing him up. It's a double for Jacob Stallings, and the Pirates have second and third with nobody out. I thought for sure that one was going to be a home run. I was watching the outfielders, and they just kind of, you know, right there at the end, they shut it down and thought that one was in the bullpen. One of the Pirate pitchers ran over to maybe try and catch the ball. They hit like maybe a third of the way up on the fence. Polanco at third, Stallings at second, nobody out for Newman. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swinging a line drive up the middle through, base hit. And Polanco will score, Stallings held at third. RBI single, Kevin Newman. And the Pirates lead 3-1. Now well, there's still nobody out, so we can't be done right now. Get greedy. And with that infield in, that enables Newman to garner a hit on that. Frazier against the lefty, has two hits today. And grounded and into right field. Frazier brings home Stallings and into third goes Newman. The Pirates have added on. They lead 4-1. Three hit day for Frazier. Another great day for Frazier. I mean, really tough pitches early on. Gets down in the count early and then once again, not trying to do too much. That simple swing, simple approach. It's a one out and here's Polanco. Two for three today, two singles and a run. To right field and Gregory Polanco that does clear the deck with a cannonball. You want a hot cup of coffee on a cold day. His third home run and the Pirates take a 6-1 lead. And that smile never, ever gets old. Yes, indeed. 109.6 off the bat. Perfect barrel with the 26 degrees. Twins down five, bottom eight. Nelson Cruz 0 for 3 today, 1 for 10 in this weekend series. Leads off. A high blast to left field, and Nelson Cruz tees off. Home run number seven, tying him for the league lead. Well, he hasn't been exactly sharp either, but he goes up there with the right kind of approach every time up, and if you throw him a breaking ball strike, you're vulnerable. Here's the little spinner that stays in the middle of the zone, and he has just done that too many times to that pitch. Back to back strikeouts and now Astudio the last chance for the Twins with the Pirates leading six to two. Two innings for Stratton. He would love to strike out the side in order. What a finishing touch that would be to this stellar trip. Little dribbler. This should do it and we can well yes raise the Jolly Roger a little scoop from Colin Moran they win six to two they're going to come home and the Buccos have a sensational road trip 